Okay, today we have uh, the chip of the day will be two chips of the day. Two for one. Uh, the first one's going to be a Rough O2. I think Burr Brown was the first company to make the Rough O2. There's probably clones of it now, but I think Burr Brown was the first one, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it is a 5 volt precision reference. And um, again, there are better things for absolute, but this is a, uh, I mean, better things for relative, but this is kind of an absolute number, right? And it says the output voltage uh, plus or minus 0.2. So not great, right? Not, not, not great. And uh, it's about a $5 part. Um, it has good uh, 10 ppm thermal, not great. So, I mean, it's kind of an okay part, but not a great part. So, but you'll see them a lot because the price was right. And they're usually good enough for a lot of things. Um, so uh, I have, a, I have a, a several here and I've put them into two categories. And, and these are a different type. So we'll, we'll go through these first. These are the rough O2s, and then we'll go through the second. Um, so here's our, here's our circuit. Uh, just It's three pins. Uh, pin two is VCC, pin four is ground, and pin six is the output. So like a three terminal regulator. And it's supposed to be four volts. Let's see how it does. And uh, that's not bad, 4.998, 999 almost. Very, very nice. So. Like I say, um, a lot of times things are better than the data sheet, but if you're a designer, you have to go by the data sheet. And the data sheet says, you know, it could be, it could be 5.01 or it could be 4.998, I think. Um, anyway, it's like I said, it's a okay part, not a great part. So, uh, what is our other chip of the day? It is pin compatible, so we can just unplug that one and plug one in its place, and it will do something different. All right, let's look at this one. Again, Burr Brown part. Uh, this one's uh, Texas Instrument, so uh, the ones that I have are Burr Browns, but TI makes the part as well. It's a rough 102. Instead of a rough 02, it's a rough 102. Instead of 5 volts, it's 10 volts. So 10 volts is really nice, but look at the spec. 10 volts plus or minus 0 0.0025, much better, much better spec. Uh, the drift is 0.25 parts per, per million, so much, much better, like five times, um, uh, four times better um, drift, much, much better starting. Uh, so this is a much, much better part, okay? Um, and let's see here, what else can we find out about the data sheet? So on this one, you have to be a little bit worried. So on the front, on the front page, it says 0 0.0025, and you think, great, I'll get the cheapest one, it'll be 0 0.0025. So if you go onto Burr Brown, uh, Burr Brown, if you go onto uh, something like um, DigiKey or, 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 or something else, um, you will find there's three grades. There's the A grade, the B grade, and the C grade. And they're $8, $11, and $16, okay? The A grade gives you 10.01, the B grade gives you 10.005, and the C grade gives you that 0 0.0025. So you must buy the C grade if you want that nice data sheet on the front page. Otherwise, you're going to get one of these. Um, I have some A parts and some B parts, but I don't have any C parts in my, in my pile here. But we can pop in a B part and we'll give it a go. should be 0 0.005. Um, so uh, let's do that. Uh, let me go down here. Let me let me kill the power while I change the part out. Uh, and this is a ref. It's almost too small for me to see. Where's my magnifying glass? Uh, yep, 102 B. This is a B a B part. We'll pop him in. You might get lucky with your A part, but it's not guaranteed. So we'll pop that in, turn the power back on, and uh, see how we're doing up here. And what was the magic number we were supposed to be? 10.005. Zero, zero, yeah, it's definitely within zero, zero, 005. It's zero, zero, 0023. Um, so, Pretty nice. 
and it's going to warm warm up on us. No, I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it changing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So um, again, if you're trying to build something and you just you know, 0.005 is, is good enough for you. Or if you want to cowl your uh, DVM that you that you bought and uh, you want to tweak it in, well, at least 005, maybe it's not six and a half digits, but you know, you might have a four digit multimeter or something. And, and you know, this would be perfectly fine to calibrate something like that. So um, there you go. The Ref 02, very famous. And the uh, Ref 0, the Ref 102, kind of a newer, newer part and uh, a better part.